there's an awful lot to be said for pig-headedness, for being too dumb to know what we should be doing. We weren't so driven that we had to get a big return in a hurry. We were of a mental attitude that allowed us to fumble around with a fair degree of satisfaction, a fair degree of return. This sleek, high-tech device began a long line of instruments for YSI, but it was thrown together by Hardy Trolander, who had gotten a call from Dr. Leland Clark. Clark was working on the first heart-lung machine, and he needed to measure core body temperature. Well, he finally decided he really needed to make to take the measurement on a big St. Bernard dog that was going to be on the heart-lung machine the following day. And so he got hold of me and asked if I could put something together that evening, which I did. Now, the, the thing looks terrible because nobody ever built that kind of electronic thermometer, and here I was without being able to really design it. I had to throw together all the parts I could find in the various junk boxes around YSI. The meter was a, a meter that was loose. There's no calibration, basically, on that meter, <clears throat> just a zero to 100 scale. So I said, well, how are you going to do this? So he took the thing and he smoked the glass on the meter and then put the, tit, put the sensor in the, in the, in the big uh, bath. And when it finally, the pointer finally came to rest, then he just scratched through the, the smoke, and that was 37 degrees C. That was the calibration, major calibration point. Above that was fever. Below that was going toward hypothermia. Research at the Fells Institute was progressing, and the telethermometer was developed for use in labs and hospitals. The probe was a thermistor which measured core body temperature rectally. The instrument was designed for patients who were sedated, but NASA pulled it off the shelf to use with the astronauts who were at work in space. I think I'm proudest of, of our personnel policies. I think I'm proudest of the fact that when I left the company, 80% of what we made had never been made until YSI made it, proving that technology can be exploited, new technology. And then the thing that I think I'm most proud of was the, was the development of the gallium melting standard, which is about, occurs at about 86 degrees F, and the work we did is now incorporated into the International Practical Temperature Scale. In other words, the whole world recognizes that that came out of YSI, if they're serious about that scale. Now that is something that most people think, ho-hum, who needs that? How do you really know how much energy you got out of a gallon of gas, what have you? You've got to measure a starting temperature and an ending temperature and they've got to be able to be referred back to some source of extremely high accuracy. So we made those gallium cells for people to use in their own standards labs. It became, in 1990, the, the, uh, a primary point on the International Temperature Scale 1990 version.